Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmox here, and in today's video, uh, I want to do a tutorial, uh, just a quick tutorial about how to set up Mango HUD, as I haven't really explained how to set up Mango HUD fully on um, multiple Linux systems. I've done like gaming guys of how to set up uh, Mango HUD like really quickly, but I haven't done like a full guide to like setting up Mango HUD fully and all the different things that you can do with it and the different um, GUI applications that you can use and like the config thing that you can go into um, to change. Change. Um, so yeah, so if you don't know what Mango HUD is, it's basically a FPS overlay that you use in games or in some, uh, you know, um, like, like, like it says here is a Vulkan and OpenGL overlay for monitoring FPS, temperatures, CPU and GPU load and more. So yeah, that's what it is. It's just a, it's an overlay for displaying FPS. Kind of like the same with um, the other one that's used on Windows that uses, um, usually you get it from MSI Afterburner, um, that FPS overlay. It's very simple similar to that but I would say it's way better in terms of like um, colors and options that you can enable um, it's a lot more laid out with the um, GUI app that I'm going to show you which is called go overlay so when you um, install Mango HUD on your Linux system, you usually will install the application called Go Overlay instead of just installing Mango HUD. You can install Mango HUD by itself, but you'll have to, like, if you want to configure it, you're going to have to use the config file, um, which is um, fine. But if you want a graphical interface to change it, which is a lot better because you get to see, like, an example and stuff like that, then you would use this app, which is called Go Overlay. So you can see some screenshots here. It does look um, quite uh, nice, very appealing healing uh, very simple to understand um, so if you want to install the system version of go overlay um, you just want to search on your store for go overlay it's mostly available for like the majority of distros that we use um, but if you do have like some minuscule um, you know distro that you're using that doesn't offer it in their repositories you can uh, build it from source obviously um, use it using like um, tarbell release you can do that one or you can just do source and just build it uh, from scratch but yeah, if we um, have a look through here, we open up Go Overlay after it's installed, after you grab it from your Discover Store or GNOME Software Store, um, you can simply open it. Um, and then you've got a whole bunch of different options. So for me, um, I usually set my transparency to middle. That's by default, um, rounded corners to six. Um, you can change the position. You can also change like the, the font, it's orientation. So if you want the FPS overlay to look like the FPS overlay on the Steam Deck, so the Steam Deck will usually have the FPS overlay will be like at the top. Um, you can do that by changing its orientation. Um, you know, we can look at performance. So if you wanna use an FPS limiter now, I know that FPS limit is on Mango HUD or it's going all over either one. Um, it doesn't work sometimes or it has some uh, weird quirks sense to it. Um, I know it does work, but I've heard some people have issue, issues with it. I haven't tested it at all. So if it does work for you, that's awesome. Uh, but I know a couple of people who have issues with it. We also have uh, metrics here as well, where we can start enabling some of the core little um, statistics for different types of things on your GPU and CPU and memory. Um, so we can, you know, enable core frequency, memory frequency, VRAM, model, driver version. Um, we can also change the colors if we want to. We can enable graphs for individual, um, like looking at individual parts of like your GPU. Um, and then we can go to extras. So usually what I will what I will do for my fresh installs, I will click compact. What compact will do is it will just enable some default things from that quick layout um, and then i'll enable the engine version the wine version um, and then i'll go two metrics i'll enable memory frequency core frequency power model driver version and then for cpu i'll enable frequency um, and then i'll click save and then that will enable the majority of things so when i go into games i can see the you know the things i i would like to see now if you are using uh flat pack applications you will need to install a mango hud flat pack version uh, by going into your terminal you can't grab it from the um, discover store or gnome software store you're gonna have to go into your terminal i know scary uh, but don't worry about it um, you just want to do flat pack install um, mango hud and then you're going to have a couple options that appear here. Now, the majority of these are out of date. So the one you want to use is the latest free desktop platform Vulkan layer, Mango HUD, which is 23.08. So that's number four. Now, I already have it installed, but for you, if you don't have it installed, it will install it for you. And then any application that you use that supports Flatpak will use that version of that free desktop Vulkan layer. So apps like um, Heroic, for example, um, this will use Mango HUD. I don't know if I can customize 
customize a no i can't customize that because it's not installed but um in heroic if you have a game installed you can um properties on that game in an enable mango hud and it will um work we can have a look at lutris as well we can go to its preferences we can go to global options and we can enable the fps counter in brackets mango hud so enabling mango hud and we can click save and then any game that we install uh, it will um, use mega hud on that game we can also do it individually so if you install a game that you don't want to use mega hud on um, you can just you know remove the global option and then enable it on individual games and the same would go with bottles um, bottles is pretty easy you'll just go into your bottle go to settings and then you'll scroll uh, to here which it's not installed as i'm pretty sure bottles does require a older version of mango hut so we're gonna have to do the uh mango fly pack install mango hut again and you're gonna have to select the probably the 22 version if i had to guess um we'll see if we're right here pretty this happened uh, like a couple weeks ago i thought it would be fixed but it is not um i should have tested this but i didn't um but if we check here we reopen it we go into it again we go to settings um, and there we go there. So um, bottles, uh, please update your Mango HUD uh, to the latest version, uh, 23.08. That would be awesome. But as you can see here, you go into your individual bottle and you go monitor performance, which is Mango HUD. And you just click the tick and, and then, yeah, it will be enabled for you. Now for the system Mango HUD, uh, let's say you want to play a particular game with Mango HUD enabled. Um, so let's say Apex, for example. Um, you would just want to go properties on it and then you want to do mango hood equals one now this one is the one that will apply it on vulcan windows only you can just use the regular one i'm pretty sure um like just this and it should just work um if we launch a game let's say uh, battlefield 5 i have mango hood enabled um we can launch it and as we can see here uh with battlefield 5 launched it does have Mango HUD enabled. Um, you can look at all types of different options. So um, like I said before, with like the driver version, uh, it shows Mesa 23.2.1. Um, so that's like for running graphical um, applications. That's what uh, Mesa does. Um, and then, you know, we also can see the wine version that's being used, which is Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. Um, and then also our actual GPU, um, which is a AMD Radeon Graphics RDV uh, Navi two or t it should be like 22 or something like that uh, but yeah we can see all the other options the xvk our fps the ram the vram cpu gpu wants degrees you know everything that we have enabled and of course um, a frame timing graph as well and yeah, um, we can also test out some other games to see if they work. So we can launch like, I don't know, like uh, Counter-Strike 2. Um, that's one game that works with Mango HUD that you have to use the lowercase Mango HUD. You can't do the capitals uh, one or it will look really, really quirky for some reason. I don't know why um, it's just like that. But as you can see, it's uh, working on Counter-Strike 2. And as you can see here before, um, I am banned on CS2 um, because um, I decided to cheat on uh, CSGO back when I was like 11 years old because I'm an idiot. Um, so I can't play it. Now, if you want to see your um, config file of Mango HUD, um, you, you want to go to home, enable hidden files dot config, and then you want to scroll down and find the Mango HUD folder. And there'll be a Mango HUD dot conf. So I know that like there's an issue at the moment still with uh, Pop OS uh, loading Go Overlay. It doesn't want to load. Um, so I actually had to use the conf uh, file when I was running Pop OS otherwise to enable certain things so if you want to not use something um, you can just hash it out and that will mean that it won't be used um, but there's a ton of different options here um, it's not even that not even really that hard to understand i would say um, it's just in text form instead of a gui um, you would just save it and then it will be applied and actually it will be applied instantly as well if you have a game open as i remember when i was customizing it i was playing battlefield 4 and it was changing uh, while i was saving the file so that's a really neat thing as well and probably the last thing is um you know when you install the mango hut flat pack version it uses its own config 
config file instead of the system one. So I don't know where the config file actually lives on the Flatpak. So my solution when I was researching was to see if I could give access to the system uh, config uh, file of Mangohud. And I was able to find a Reddit forum of someone saying, you know, how to give it uh, permission to see it um, with a XGG uh, portal. So what you want to do is just up open up your terminal and in the description below there will be a command that you want to copy and paste that is sudo flatpak override file system equals xdg xdg oh my god i can't even say that xdg config slash mango hud um, and that's basically going to uh, give access to the um, system uh, mango hud uh, folder where it can read the config file and this will this will um you will have to restart your computer to actually uh, let it see the config file. If you do it right now and test a game, it won't work. Um, so yeah, restart your computer and then that, sh you know, you'll be able to um, use the system config file without having to go look for the Flatpak version. And that does it for about today's uh, video, I would say. There's not much to really talk much uh, anymore about Mango HUD. Um, it's really easy to set up, I would say, and it's a great piece of software. So the person that's maintaining it and updating it I appreciate all the work that you do um, as the FPS overlay is just, it's awesome to use, honestly, on multiple different graphical, you know, OpenGL and Vulkan windows. Um, so yeah, if you guys, uh, you know, like this uh, video, definitely give it a like. Um, if I said anything wrong, you can definitely comment down below. Um, and then also thank you for, you know, any older supporters uh, that have been supporting my channel, the two supporters have been supporting my channel. Um, thank you a lot. Um, and thank you for 1.4K subs as well as we did hit it just like a couple of minutes ago so i want to thank you for that and i'll see you guys in the next video peace